Hey everyone, it's Mel here and welcome back to the vlog for today, the 11th of December, Vlogmas Day 11 of 2020. So everybody, I'm actually starting the vlog halfway through the afternoon or no, halfway through the day really it's approximately quarter past maybe half past 12 uh, in the afternoon already uh, I did not film anything this morning because I went to the stables with Camille uh, we did a couple of things around the stables uh, I didn't film firstly because I didn't want to bore you guys to tears um, because I was just doing the usual lunging, saddling up, practicing, standing on the mountain block business. And also secondly, because it was quite windy out there. So I'm going to do a few things around the house today. I'll show you what jobs we have to do. So the first job is we have to clean up the kitchen. Uh, I've got, let me see, all over the bench here I've got, um, alfoil no that's not alfoil cling wrap sorry that needs to go away i've got the cat food that needs to go away i've got a toaster that needs to go away i probably need to wipe the bench as well i've got a big bunch of dirty dishes that need to be washed i've got some clean dishes that need to be put away um i've got to as I said, wipe the benches. Uh, I've got to put the hand towel in the wash and get a new hand towel out. Um, I need to take the baking paper off this tray and clean it. I also need to clean the saucepans that are there. So I need to do lots and lots of dishes. Um, and then if we go over this direction, we have two dogs. I don't know exactly where they both are. Dogs, make a sound, someone. Um, I think there might be one there and I don't know where the other one is. I don't know where the dogs are. But anyway, we have two dogs that need brushing. Um, oh, there's one. We have, this is Darcy here. We have Darcy and Penny who might be on her bed actually. Yes, Penny and Darcy both need to be brushed because they had a bath yesterday. So Darcy and Penny both need to have a brush. Um, I've got a whole bunch of clean clothes here on the dining table that need to be put away basically everyone I have a lot of housework to do so I'm going to do that and I'm also going to obviously uh, talk you guys through it a little bit so that some of you who don't maybe don't understand or how I do my housework or haven't seen someone who's blind or has low vision do housework before um, you guys might be able to get an idea of how I do it um, by watching today's video so I've just picked up the cling wrap and I'm just putting it back up in the cupboard uh, yeah so hopefully uh, with today's vlog some of you guys might be able to see how someone who is blind or visually impaired uh, can actually manage to do um, house chores on their own. Um, some of you know that I have a lady who comes and cleans the house for me. Um, she comes once a week uh, on a Monday, which is, oops, sorry about the fingers in front of the camera. She comes on a Monday every week, which is absolutely fantastic. And that is uh, definitely a blessing, but you know, I can't leave the house dirty for a whole week. So I need to look after jobs in the house um, during the week as well. One of the other things that I'll do today is I'll get the vacuum cleaner out and I'll just vacuum up the floor here uh, in front of the litter tray because we do get a lot of litter on the floor. So I'll vacuum that up. Um, here is my new Cat Genie. 120 or 120 I don't know which one they prefer 
Um, I will be doing a re review on that soon, so keep your eye out for that. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to organise the photography of it. There's a cat here somewhere too, I think. I thought I heard a cat. Oh yes. Hello cat. Hello Sam cat. Hello Sam cat. So there you are. That is uh, hopefully going to provide you with an interesting and entertaining video. Uh, so I'm going to go back into the kitchen now and I'm going to do a couple of the things that need to be done in the kitchen. As I said, I put the uh, cling wrap away. I've also just put the cat food away. So I'm going to uh, go over here, feel for the power point, make sure the power point is turned off. I'm going to grab and pull out the plug for the toaster. And I'm going to put the plug, whoops, the kettle back in. Now when you're blind or have low vision, when you're putting the plug in, you feel to make sure that the spikes for the plug are up the right way. And then you also feel the plug hole there like that, where you plug it into the electricity to make sure it goes in the right way. I'm not going to describe to you which way it goes because I know that in the US you guys have different, um, your power plugs are actually shaped differently in the US. Your The two pins on the top are straight and the bottom pin is round. Our pins here, they're all, um, where's the one for the toaster? I just put it down and now I can't see it. Oh, there it is. So in Australia, for those of you who can see, um, the, the thing is like that. So it's, they're all flat ones and the top two actually are in sort of like almost a triangle shape and the bottom one is straight, but it's a flat one as well. Whereas I know in the US, these top ones here are straight and the round one is, the bottom one is round instead. So our plugs here are different, which for those of you playing at home, I do actually have an America to Australia converter thing because when I go on a cruise, um, a lot of the princess ships, uh, especially the golden princess, which is the ship that I've been on five times, um, had uh, American plugs. So I needed to take a converter. So I'm gonna stop talking. I'm going to put the toaster away and then I'm gonna put some of these clean dishes in where, where they belong. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the dishes are washed, put away, and the benches are a little bit more tidy. So, you can see that um, apart from this little pile of stuff here at the end of the bench, which has been here the whole time, um, you can see that the container, the glad wrap, the toaster, everything that was on this bench here is gone. I gave the bench a little wipe. Um, all of the dirty dishes are gone uh, and they are now here in the drying rack. There. I didn't, I took the tray and there was a saucepan lid on the stove. I haven't washed this saucepan here um, because I will use that to hook my dinner tonight. You might be wondering, how does a blind person wash the dishes? Well, basically the answer is exactly the same way as someone who is a sighted person. The only difference is some people who can see might use um, dishwashing gloves. I don't because I like to be able to use my fingers to obviously feel, you know, whether there's any dirt or anything still on the plates and the cutlery and stuff like that. So I don't wear gloves when I'm washing my dishes. And that's really all that is different. I have a particular order in which I like to put things in the uh, drying rack as well, but
that is really uh, all that I do that is different perhaps to someone who is a seeing person. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do now. Um, I'm actually thinking I might sit down for a couple of minutes and just do some admin stuff that I need to do. I've got a couple of emails to reply to and that sort of thing. So I think I might reply to those emails before I get some uh, shoes on and probably my next job that I do will be to do the vacuuming. So ladies and gentlemen, I've just had a nice little sit down for a little while. Uh, I actually ended up having a bit of a phone conversation uh, for a little bit longer than I was intending to. So I'm running a little bit, you know, behind. It's just after three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm about to do some vacuuming. So I'm just going to vacuum um, this bit of floor here in front of the, um, where the door for the laundry and the toilet and the bathroom are. And I'm also going to do inside the laundry um, because you can see, um, for those of you who can't, there's a lot of um, cat litter and um, other, you know, dirt and stuff that has also, you know, got on cats and dogs paws while, you know, when they've come in. So bathroom, I mean, bathroom, laundry cupboard is where the vacuum is kept. So here's the vacuum, I'll grab it out. And shut the door. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I have a baby gate here on the laundry door. Um, and that's to stop the dogs from coming in and eating the cat litter, which is always attractive. So I'm going to take, the, I've opened the baby gate, I've taken the vacuum out of the bathroom and I'm going to plug it in. There was a power cord just behind uh, that chair in my bedroom. I don't know if you can actually see. So I'm going to bend down here and I'm going to unravel some of the cord of the vacuum. I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to try this angle. So hopefully you guys might be able to see a little bit just unraveling the cord of the vacuum. I'm not going to get out too much cord just because I don't want to trip on it. So that should be enough cord. Take the cord now into my bedroom obviously um, my bedroom needs a bit of a tidy up as well there's clothes on the chair um, I think there's a pair of boots and some other stuff on the floor there next to Penny's bed and there's some clothes on the floor at the end of the bed there as well um, so that'll be the next job after I've done vacuuming but I've just found the end of the cord so I'm going to walk up to the chair I thought I had the end of the cord, there it is. I'm going to make sure that I've got the plug up the right way. And I'm going to bend down here. You guys possibly won't be able to see what I'm doing, so I'll try and explain. I'll bend down here. Felt feeling for the plug. Putting the plug in the uh, upside down, it's twisted. Putting the thing in the PowerPoint. Turn that off as well. So what I like to do uh, when I'm vacuuming is what I do is I actually hold um, the vacuum in my left hand because I'm left-handed and my right hand I have like floating um sometimes I use my right hand just to feel like where a wall is or whatever because I obviously um with the vacuum turned on it's difficult to use echolocation to 
here um, where I am with echo location. So um, yeah, I usually would get my right hand and feel like where the walls are and stuff to make sure that I'm still lined up and that I'm getting everywhere that I need to get. So I also will do a workout on my Apple Watch um, just an other workout, just so that, you know, I get the active minutes from the vacuum. So I'm going to get the vacuuming done now and I'll talk to you guys again uh, and I'll show you how I've done. Hopefully I do a good job. So hopefully it's looking a bit better now. Uh, I don't know, it certainly feels a lot less gritty on the floor there's still a tiny bit of stuff on the floor in here in the laundry um so hopefully it's a little less gritty but i don't think it's anywhere near as bad as it was which is excellent i also moved i had a box of some um i had a box of some new stuff for the letter tray on the cat scratching proof that you're looking at there so i've just put that away as well which is good getting getting the place tidy um, my parents are actually coming up next Friday, so today the 11th is a Friday. My parents are actually coming up next Friday, um, for a little while, so I really need to have the house clean by then, but, uh, my cleaner will be here on Monday again, and then on Friday before my parents get here, my support worker and I will also do a bit of a spot clean, uh, if we need to so uh, my cleaner comes as I said once a week and she does um, she does the vacuuming she mops she cleans the bathroom she does the dusting all of that sort of stuff uh, look I can do all of those jobs and I will if I need to but I do much prefer to do them um, either to do them with a support worker or to to have uh, someone like my cleaner do them because it just means that I know that the place is perfectly cleany, perfectly clean and tidy and perfectly spotless rather than um, you know me missing bits here and there and stuff like that. So now that that's done, uh, I've just sat down, which is a bad idea, but I will get up again in a sec and I'm just about to have some water because I'm very thirsty. And then I need to take some washing off the line and fold it and put away some other clothes that have been on the dining table for like a week. As you all know, this guy here had a bath yesterday didn't you pal and I need to give him a brush oh does he want a brush does he does he want a brush do you want a brush come on in off we go let's go have a brush Good boy. Good boy. Okay, Penny. One down, one to go. Come on. Penny. Where are you? Exactly. I don't know. Penny, come. Good girl. Out. Have a wee wee. Have a wee wee. Good girl. Shouldn't film that. Sorry. So Darcy's had a quick brush. I don't I didn't do a big one and I won't do a big one with her either. Um firstly because it's very hot. Um it's about 30 degrees and I'm wearing this plastic coat penny up that I always wear when I'm brushing the dogs. Up good girl. So it's very hot and sticky in here. And also because I just can't be bothered um, to be standing out here getting too hot. So Penny, 
is now up on the grooming table and it's her turn. Take your collar off so we can brush all of the dog and not just the bits where the collar isn't. All right. Trying to do this with one hand is very interesting. There we go. Stay. Put this down here. And give you a brush. Here, Penny. Inside. Go. Good girl. You brushed? Darcy, are you brushed too? Yep. You both had a brush? Good dogs. So ladies and gentlemen, they are both now nice and brushed. Uh, as I said, I didn't do a massive brush. Um, I need to try and, you know, brush them a little bit more often than I have been lately, but that's okay. I'm probably not the only guide dog owner who has to confess that they don't brush their dog as often as they ought to. Anyways, uh, that is probably actually going to be the end of the vlog um, for today. I am going to, because I'm so hot and sweaty and smelly after wearing my protective poncho thing for brushing the dogs, I'm actually going to have a shower. Uh, and it's almost half past six in the evening so I'm probably actually not going to do anything vlog worthy now anyway so I'm going to uh, I'm going to have a shower and just do a few little things around the house so I will see you guys all in the next vlog thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow bye